Good morning, guys. This is Lance Clinton, a.k.a. The Fish Rustler. I get a lot of questions on my social media about what lures I'm using, what rods and reels, what products, what colors, etc. So today, I'm going to tell you guys about some of my all-time most productive lures, and that's the series of hard baits from Yozuri. You guessed it. If we're going to talk about Yozuri's, we're going to start with number one. Uh, this lure, if you've ever watched any of my videos or photos on social media, this lure doesn't really need any introduction, but I'll give it anyway. Here's the world famous Yozuri Crystal Minnow. There's a regular bill, and there's also a deep diver, okay? And I have caught more fish on these lures than any other lure ever made by man. Um, superb action, excellent hardware, tough lures, through wired. The entire construction is made around a prism structure. So whatever angle you look at these from, they're reflecting light. And I'm a big believer in that. I believe in that light reflection over color actually. But when it does come to color, I do have a favorite. I'll fish any color as long as it's sardine blue. That's not true, I'll fish any color period, but I do like the sardine blue in these waters. And what I use these for, I'll, I'll do everything with this, this short build minnow. I'll cast it, I'll troll it, I fish all kinds of different actions. I, I'll fish it fast, rip it, stop and go, straight retrieve. The deep diver, is something I use more trolling, but it's been super productive on the troll. And I will often troll this other kayak with a rod in my hands, just a slow troll, two, three miles per hour, put in an action on it, and it gets crushed by all kinds of creatures. So those are my really my top performers of all time. These two right here are two of their, their build minnows. This is a hydro minnow, and this is a mag minnow. Uh, I use the mag minnow more than the hydro minnow. I like a real compact lure, smaller lure. Our elephants down here eat peanuts, so I like working with small lures. And what I love about the mag minnow is even though it's small, it still comes with big hardware. So this smaller mag minnow, if you can see, comes with the same hardware, I believe that's the same, close to it, as the larger hydro minnow. So I've got a small lure, it's got a real tight action, I can straight retrieve it or I can fish it like a jerk bait, which I do a lot, and it attracts roosters, kubera, snapper, mahi, yellowfin tuna, you name it, you can catch it on this lure. Very versatile lure. The hydro minnow, I use more on a straight retrieve. It doesn't work as well as the mag minnow as a jerk bait, but it works really effective on a slow roll. Snook, snapper, anything, any predatory assassin that's gonna come looking for a slow moving, you know, wounded or, or nonchalant kind of bait fish is gonna hammer this thing. That's a uh, Yozuri Hydro Minnow. So there's two more lures that I use that are in that mag system. One of them is the mag popper, okay? This is a beautiful popper. One, not just because of the magnet system, which gives it that increased casting distance and accuracy, but also because of the action. It requires very light action to make it give a really powerful, you know, jet and burst through the water, popping action. So it'll also accept a lot of different speeds and actions and, and velocities. So I can run this thing really fast, looking for roosters, looking for mahi, looking for yellowfin, or I can slow it down and I can catch giant kubera snapper. I can catch any any fish that's a little more predatory and looking for a slower moving lure so super great action very versatile again like always got the strong yozuri hardware super popper my favorite the last lure in the mag series that i use is the mag darter okay and this is a lure that it took me a minute to warm up to because i'm like ah, i'm casting it out there yeah it casts further than the the crystal minnow but I don't feel like I'm catching more fish on this than the crystal minnow. And yeah, you know, if I want that further cast, I can just use the hydro minnow or the mag minnow. This, for me, this lure did not come into its own until I started trolling it. In my little dinghy, I'll put this thing out the back. And what's different about this, there's no bill on it. It's just the, the, the lure is naturally cut like that at the nose, but it does dive and it has a waggle just like the crystal minnow. But this lure, can be run at much higher speeds than either the hydro minnow or the crystal minnow. 
So I control this thing that's <clears throat> on my Wahoo spots or Mahi spots or offshore. I control this lure at my 10 or 12 knots. So that's a game changer for a hard bait. And I've caught numerous big Wahoo on this lure and it's become a real favorite of mine for running back behind the boat. The last lure I want to talk about is a very interesting lure. And this thing is an absolute beast of a meat hunter. And this is the Yozuri Bonita. And man, what an insanely well-crafted lure this is. I mean, from the back to the front, if you look at these giant hooks, if you ever question whether or not this is for catch and release for meat hunting, take a look at the barbs on those hooks. This is for Wahoo, big tuna. This is bringing home the bacon. But if you look at the hooks, it's got these massive hooks. And you got these really like high-end uh, uh, stainless swivels. The lure itself is very heavy and well crafted and well balanced. This is like a uh, this is like a high-end custom lure. I mean, that, that would come out of some mad scientist machine shop. This is a really really well crafted lure. But I will will tie these things on and I run them for wahoo really because the the, the reason I'm I'm using these is these, these lures can be fished at really high speeds, I mean up to 15, 16, 17 knots. So they're great for high speed trolling. You can run them behind wire or mono. I usually fish them behind mono even for wahoo because the lure is so big, the wahoo will get a lot of lure in his mouth and I rarely get cut off. If you're, you know, they're not cheap, so if you're really into like, like making, making sure you don't uh, lose your lure, you might want to run a wire leader on these because the wahoo will just demolish them you know it's it's probably the, the the best hard bait high speed wahoo lure i've used so if you're in the market for something to, to chase <clears throat> big pelagics high speed trolling definitely you want to take a look at the yozuri bonita hey guys that's really it man those are the five yozuris i use most of them for what I do, I use in the five and a quarter, like the, the Crystal Menace, I use in the five and a quarter or the six inch versions because I'm, I would use the, the smaller ones if I thought I could uh, land everything that I was catching, but I'm, I'm catching pretty big fish on the inshore. So I'm fishing those bigger lures, but uh, don't be afraid to try the smaller stuff too. The smaller stuff will get more bites. Uh, just you got to land whatever you, whatever bites. That's the trick. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I can tell you this, I've been dragging these things around for 10 years and nothing outperforms them in the world of hard baits. So I'm a big loyalist to the brand because everything they make, it swims right, it performs right, and it gets the bite. So if you're in Costa Rica, come see us here at CR Primo and pick up some Yozuris and get out there and catch some fish. And if you're seeing this from the States or somewhere else, get online or go to your local shop and, and have a look at the Yozuris they have in stock. That's it, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have more of these videos coming soon.